Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Maker's Movement. Today we'll be creating a mini note card with matching envelope. I'll be using the Maker's Movement new die set called Special Delivery from Tammy Totoro. This die set has seven pieces, which is the envelope, the word sentiment, the little die to cut the mini note card, and your postage stamp, a heart, and the cancellation marks. I created this one off screen to show you what the finished product would look like. And I used some scrap paper that I had left over. I simply die, die cut all the, all the components and then I layered the love on gray cardstock and I adhered it to my little note card. This note card measures three by four the same size as a gift card. I lined my envelope and I added some stamping to the little heart and then I puffed it up, popped it up, sorry, using foam adhesive. Today's project will be using the same die set and we'll be using a paper collection that is no longer available. It's GCD's Cloisonne Collection. It's a very um, Valentine romantic collection. However, you can use whatever papers you have available to you. And it doesn't have to be very feminine and Valentine. I'll be using this cut apart sheet, some cardstock in fuchsia, white, light pink, and light gray. And this other um, stripe pattern paper it's double-sided, one side has stripes, the other side has hearts, and I'll use that for our envelope. I'll also be using some Memento Dewdrop inks in Rosebud and London Fog to, not, to stamp our little um, rosebuds in our heart, which I'm using those rosebud stamps from the Maker's Movement Love Notes stamp set. Those little, that's what they look like right there. You'll need some double-sided tape or adhesive and a bone folder to make nice crisp um, lines. First thing I did is ran the envelope through my Crafter's Edge Crossover 2 die cut machine and I now set it apart. Now I'm going to, to cut the cut apart and I'm going to use this pink square on the top. I'll set the rest of the paper aside for another project. I'm going to center the little no die in the middle of the paper. I want my note card to have that flourish that's in the center with the hearts. I'm going to um, use the heart die on the light pink and the word love. I'm going to add, um, tape that down. Next, I will be cutting the postage stamp on the white um, cardstock. This is the outer edge, that rippled edge that you get on your postage stamp. For the inner portion of the postage stamp, I thought I was going to do it on pink, but then I realized my heart's pink wouldn't be much of a contrast. So I went back to the um, pink square uh, paper and I'm going to cut it from this pink because it's a shade darker than that light pink cardstock. So I'm going to tape this die down onto that. And I'm going to grab my gray cardstock and I'm going to tape the cancellation marks onto that. I'm going to run all this through the die cutting machine, which is the Crafter's Edge Crossover 2 die cut machine. I'm going to I have all my pieces cut, except I'm going to cut the word love again on the, from the gray cardstock. I can move all my little pieces, don't want to lose any of them. And I'll run that quick through the die machine. Now that we have all our components, we can start putting our card together. I'm going to adhere, first I want to work on an envelope. So, I'm going to adhere the stamp set together. Let me gather all my, actually, let me gather all my die pieces, set them to the side. 
So let's work on our envelope. I'm going to start by creasing it. The envelope die adds the crease lines for you. I'm just using the bone folder to reinforce those crease lines. Folding them gently at first and then sharp with, the, with my bone folder to get those nice crisp lines. Here on those two tabs right there is where you add adhesive to create your envelope. I'm going to place some double sided tape on each of those tabs. Try not to get it all the way to the top edge because then you may shut your envelope and not be able to open it. Okay, before I seal my envelope, I want to work on my postage stamp. I like to put it on while it's flat so it's easier for me to work with. I took the rosebud ink and I'm going to stamp that little, those three little rosebuds in the center of my heart. Now that I have that there, I'm going to well, show you <laughs> first. <laughs> okay. And I like adding a little um, ink to the edges to give it a nice contrast. I don't always ink everything I make, but this in this um, situation, it worked out nicely. I did the same thing to the striped pack, uh, pink paper. Took the London Fog and used and inked the edges of the cancellation marks. If I can pick them up. <laughs> Just a little bit here and there. All right. So now our cancellation marks are have inked edges, so they match our heart and the postage stamp. Now let's put our postage stamp together. I'm going to use some on-point glue from Imagine Crafts to adhere our striped paper to the center of our postage stamp. I'm going to use a little foam adhesive on the back of the heart. And then I'm going to start adhering my postage stamp to the envelope. I went ahead and used some double-sided tape on the back of the on the back of the postage mark. On the back of the post postage, yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'm layering it there on the on the corner. And I'm gonna add the registration, the cancellation marks. Now they're so small, I'm using a tweezers to hold them. Otherwise, I wouldn't get them on there at all. I add a few drops of the on-point glue. Not a lot, because you don't want it to ooze all over the place. Press them into place, all set. Remove the backing from our foam adhesive. And I'm going to go ahead and place it just a little more to the left. So it covers the little cancellation marks. Now I'm removing the, uh, the backing of the adhesive on the sides of the envelope. I will move up and press into place and there you go. The envelope is complete. Now for you to send it, you, to give it to someone, you could put, again, either double-sided adhesive or a sticker on the front of the envelope. Now, we're going to create the card for inside. I'm going to make the inside card coordinate with the little stamp. So I'm going to add a little bit of the ink to the edges of this um, pattern paper. I'm going to adhere it to the um, pink fuchsia card stock using a little double-sided adhesive here. Remove the backing and I'm going to stick it on and then trim away the extra cardstock. And I know I'm a little off screen, I'm sorry about that. I can't cut from really far away, I need to see it up close. <coughs> and there's our card. You can attach a little gift card on the back Write your message however you want. 
Now I'm going to adhere the light pink love die cut word to the gray one. I'm going to offset it just a little bit or drop it on the table. It wouldn't be a project of mine if I didn't drop something on the table. I'm going to offset it just a bit so to create a, a slight shadow. Now on this one I'm not going to ink the bottom like I did the other one where I made it a gradient um, or an ombre effect. I'm just going to leave it like that as is because there is a lot of dark pink on the back panel. I'm trying to show you here with it, but it's hard to see even on that. I think you'll see it better once I put it on the little card. I add a little bit of on point glue to the back and adhere it to the to the card panel. I put it in a slant towards the bottom. Then to add a little um, finishing touches, I'm going to add a few little jewels. I add three to the top left corner and three to the bottom right corner. I use a dark pink, a light pink, and a white. So there are our jewels and you can see the love better now up close. And this fits in this cute little envelope that you can give attached to a present or add a, give a gift card with it or just a simple note. It can be love, it could be funny or happy birthday depending on what sentiment you want to use. They're super easy. You can make a bunch of them in just a few minutes. This again measures three by four. So it's the perfect size. And this is using the Maker's Movement Special Delivery Die Cut Set, which is a seven piece set. And it's by Tammy Totoro. And you get the envelope, the sentiment that says love, the, piece, the die to cut the little card, the postage stamp, a heart, and the cancellation marks. These would be great at Christmas time if you're giving out a few uh, gift cards or some money to your you know, friends and family. Great to add, to attach to a bouquet of flowers. So many possibilities. I would like to thank you for stopping by today. I will have the um, full list of supplies in the description box below. For more information, you can stop by my blog and that will be listed down below as well. Don't forget to join the, make, the Makers Movement. Um, visit them at any time at their website. Thank you so much until we meet again.